Known as the Las Vegas of the Roman Empire, Pozzuoli was a key hotspot of the Roman Empire. Its proximity to Rome and its location on the Bay of Naples made it an ideal Roman port, as well as a playground for the emperors and wealthy elite of Rome. In the heart of Pozzuoli, you will find the Flavian Amphitheater, the third largest Roman amphitheater in Italy. The Flavian Amphitheater is the second of two Roman amphitheaters built in Pozzuoli. The smaller and older amphitheater has been almost totally destroyed by the construction of the Rome to Naples railway line. Only a dozen arches of this earlier work still exist. Construction began in 1 AD under the reign of Emperor Vespasian and probably finished under the reign of his son Titus around 80 AD. The interior is mostly intact and one can still see parts of gears, winches, and pulleys which were used to lift animal cages up to the arena floor through square trapdoors. Today, one of the key highlights of a visit to the amphitheater is the ability to explore the underbelly of this once thriving stadium and to wander through the rooms and chambers below the arena itself. It is even possible to see the quarters in which the gladiators themselves would have prepared for their contests. This amazing set of underground corridors and passageways remain in an excellent state of preservation and give a genuine glimpse into the amphitheater's past. When it was excavated in the 19th century, archaeologists found the Flavian Amphitheater in a very good state of preservation, with many of its walls and floors intact. In 305, the arena was the setting for the persecutions of the patron saint of Pozzuoli, Saint Proculus, and the patron saint of Naples, Saint Januarius. After surviving being thrown to the wild beasts in the arena, the two were beheaded.
In 1198, the amphitheater was damaged from ash and rubble from the eruption of the Sofotara volcano. The amphitheater was abandoned thereafter. During the Middle Ages, the marble used on the exterior was stripped, but the interior was left alone and is perfectly preserved. Excavations of the site were performed from 1839 to 1845 and from 1880 to 1882 and finally in 1947. This statue is the beloved elder sister of the Emperor Traiano, who glorified her to the imperial ranks in the year 105 AD by granting her the honorary title of Augusta. If you enjoyed this video, check out our many travel videos from all over Europe, the United States, Australia, Russia, and the Far East. And be sure to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified of new and fun videos to watch.